spatial abilities, um, particularly when it involves three-dimensional, you know, picture, uh, picture what it takes to get from your car uh, to your office. You go in the building, go up the elevator, you take a left, take a right. And if you can sort of do that three-dimensional map in your head and, and not get lost, uh, that's a, a pretty challenging sort of thinking um, that turns out is, is very important for various types of math and science. So what we see with girls is that um, they start out doing just fine in math and science. In kindergarten, there's no difference between boys and girls in math. Um, throughout grade school, um, there's a, a small gap favoring boys in math. But then when we hit certain areas of math later in high school and college, like calculus and, and trig and uh, physics, um, and certainly engineering, we see the girls dropping off and, and not pursuing those and, and not scoring as well on standardized tests. Well, each of these are heavily dependent on spatial abilities. And what happens is if, if there's a, a small difference at birth where boys are more spatially oriented, boys are more interested in, in trucks, things that move. I don't think there's a truck gene, but I do think that boys clearly have a higher activity level and that um, makes them find vehicles and balls and things that move around more, uh, a little more appealing. Uh, what happens is that they uh, reinforce those skills. So all the things that boys like to play with, particularly the building and the sports, we know are good for spatial skills. And girls are just doing less of that um, and so they get fewer of those thousands of hours of practice and by the time we get around to SAT time uh, when we know spatial skills are one of the more important predictors of math at SAT scores, girls just haven't amassed as much practice. But in the book I talk, um, I provide plenty of evidence for ways in which spatial skills are improved through practice. Video games, for one, uh, actually all that driving and shooting and targeting that our boys probably spend too much time doing um, would actually be beneficial, I think, for our girls.